Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome back to the Tennis Now News Update. After much anticipation, the Wimbledon draws were announced today and it looks like we're in for some interesting matchups in round one. 18th seed Yelena Yankovic is the unlucky player who drew the unseeded former number one Kim Kleisters. Kleisters pulled out of her semifinal match at Den Bosch this week with an abdominal strain, but according to her trainer, the move was precautionary. On the men's side, we may see an isner Mahu rematch if they both make it to the second round. But I'll go out on a limb here and predict the match will be less than 11 hours. Much to the Brits' dismay, Andy Murray has a difficult section of the draw with possible matches against Nikolai Davidenko, Ivo Karlovic, and the big-serving Kevin Anderson of South Africa. And while we're sure all the players are anxious to get out on the grass, we hear tennis stars often duel over the best digs in town. In the village, where the best players stay, rentals can go for $2,300 per week per bedroom. Judging by a recent photo of Rafael Nadal cooking in an extremely well-equipped kitchen, we'll go ahead and assume he's shelling out major dough for his home away from home. In other news, Roger Federer is fighting for his German tennis colleagues, calling the idea that no man from the country has qualified for the London Olympic team a joke. The German Olympic bosses have declared that only the players ranked in the top 25 would be eligible, despite the fact that the ITF regulations say anyone with a ranking of 56 or better can compete for their country. The top Germans are number 28 Florian Mayer, number 29 Philipp Kohlschreiber, and number 49 Tommy Haas, who just beat Federer to win the Halle title. Kohlschreiber has beaten Nadal, Tommy has beaten me, and we're two of the favorites for both Wimbledon and the Olympics, Federer said. You have to open the eyes, look beyond the boundaries, and see the bigger picture. Last but not least, Andy Murray weighed in on the controversy surrounding David Nalbandian's now infamous kick at the Queen's Club. While admitting that he hopes he wouldn't have reacted the same way as the Argentine, he also felt officials should have escorted him off the court instead of allowing him to do an interview. In any other sport, if someone flips out or snaps, you don't stick a microphone in their face and try to get them to speak, he said. You're going to say something you don't really mean or regret. No matter how you sway on the Nalbandian issue, take a look at our Point Counterpoint show where we argue the matter from both sides. And that's today's Tennis Now News Update. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all sorts of great tennis content. We'll see you tomorrow here on Tennis Now.